What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Player of the Week player review. We've got an absolute, well, I will say an absolute beastly pack, but I mean, I think there's a little something for everybody here. It's like McDonald's. There's something here for everybody, right? So we've got the absolute beast of the pack. Obviously, you've got one of the best versions of Neymar that they have released if you haven't got his legend card. They have De Gea, which is a top, top goalkeeper in it now with some of the player skills he has. We'll go through that in a second. And then we also have Mane. But we've also got a couple of intriguing ones, such as Oshman. We've got Gross as well that is definitely worth a look at. Nelson as well is somebody that we will take a look at in a minute as well. But they are the full selection there. Um, and you can check out eFootballDB, which we will be doing in a second against their standard versions you can kind of compare them and see whether it is worth spinning or not let me know as ever in the comments below are you going to spin or skip this week so starting us off we are going to go with alex who plays uh in the spanish league and i think that's the cadiz uh logo i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah i'm only messing i'm only messing cara if you are listening one of my friends from cadiz um, but yeah, this guy, look, he's, he's kind of what you, you know, what you're looking at there, lads. There is an amazing stats and Cadiz obviously uh, had a good result last week. So that's why he is on a form, but yeah, I mean, his form there, his actual standard form, he doesn't have unwavering, but his player update is a this week as all the player of the week players are. He's got one touch pass, but he's kind of a run of the mill center midfielder. That is the least you should be expected from a center midfielder in those stats, you know, low pass 85, loft to pass 80. Speed and acceleration are quite poor, and then his defensive ability is quite poor as well. But he is a whole player. I mean, he's kind of a creative guy. You're not going to be like trying to get the ball back with him and, you know, bombing forward and bombing back with, with attacks and defending. So, yeah, he's your run of the mill centre midfielder. I don't think that he's really probably worth getting in your squad, but if you are looking for somebody, a lot of the, a lot of the like big, um, kind of pluses of these players is that they can fit in any formation and any team play style because you can see there that they've got 90 and everything so that is a huge plus for it pascal gross obviously playing in the premier league he's having a great season an absolute great season this guy and he's somebody to keep an eye on lads he does have standard form but lofted pass low pass and dribbling are quite high for right back I would probably be playing him right mid because he's got early crosser, he's got long ball expert and then he's also got one touch pass, true pass and a way to pass as well as pinpoint crossing and I spoke about it in the last episode and I will have another video out today or tomorrow where I'm talking about kind of what has changed I think since 2.1. A lot of people are now playing, yeah they are continuing to play the one touch pass uh, with central players but they're also playing wing play which you know uh, are crossing balls into the box and have two center forwards in there like a traditional 4-4-2 so with which is that that's kind of working now again but yeah not a bad right back to have we're going to leave Oshman there for a second but we will go to this 87 uh, overall right winger who plays in the J League again I don't know much about him I'm not going to pretend that I watch a massive amount of J League I've watched the odd game if it's on if you're just chilling out or whatever um but yeah, I mean, this guy has got very low speed and acceleration for a right winger. He is down as a creative midfielder. So, I mean, are you going to use him as an attacking midfielder? I would say if you spin him, he's probably still not worth using because his speed is too poor. His low passing is too poor for an attacking midfielder. And then his speed um, and acceleration are way too poor to use him as a wing player the way that the game is gone at the moment. We've also got a Gigi. This guy is on A form as well, playing with Torino over in the Italian league very good player as well you can see there that he's got interceptor interception and blocker he's got standard form uh but yeah again this guy is more of a defender uh that's just going to be kind of playing the ball as a destroyer as you can see there he's going to be just playing the ball and booting it he's not going to be playing the ball on the ground and you know taking it out like somebody like Salaba would or somebody like that so again you're just running the mill center back I mean if you are a newcomer check out my new series where I have the top 10 players uh in each or not each position well I have that done as well but for based on how much they cost GP um you know and I think you could get Timber for about 30k who's gonna outperform this guy in pretty much every every single stat he's the same height same kind of style of play next up we have got arsenal's nelson who is a right winger that has a lot of potential lads and in this actual version he is one of the ones to watch a very unique one because he's got super sub obviously standard form but he's got super sub first time shot scissors faint soul control first time shot as i said gamesmanship i like that he can play left or right across any area of the pitch left mid right mid left wing right wing 
and he can play AMF as well, which is always uh, decent to have in your arsenal, pardon the pun. But yeah, he is only 22 years of age, so if you do have a manager that has um, that, you're not going to get the boost with him, but his standard card would get the boost. But yeah, he's your traditional winger of everything that you could possibly want, dribbling speed and acceleration. You don't need to worry too much about passing, but this guy actually has fairly high passing for a winger, which is always a plus. Now, moving on to Oshman, obviously we watched him the other night. I watched him in, uh, uh, with Napoli. I mean, he's a good player, man. This guy really intrigues me, especially that he wears kind of like... Um, you know, the mask that he wears, he kind of reminds me of Batman or something, or Nightwing uh, from the new Gotham Knights game. But yeah, this guy is very, very good, man. He's very, very good in the game. I come up against him quite a bit. I've actually played with his standard card, which we will take a look at in a second. Um, so obviously, you're going to be looking here, can you kind of match what this guy's stats are? And the big ones here are 84 finishing, 89 speed, 87 acceleration, and then the heading heading at 79. So when we go over to eFootballDB.com here, we actually have matched every stat here. So with his standard card, which costs 110 GP, uh, the only thing we haven't matched is heading. They're the only... Uh, attributes that you can't match with this and how you how you base him so he definitely is somebody that if you don't spin him i think with him being on a farm this week he could actually be my player to watch this week uh like rafa silva was last week we did a little hidden gem on him and obviously he was on a farm we will be doing kind of our own player of the week that i think you guys should sign because they're on a rating it gives a boost to all their stats next up we've got the Vrij, who is playing with inter inter going kind of mixed this year i would say but you know they, they still are there thereabouts and obviously they'll be looking to get up um the the league and um continue to play some nice attractive football i like watching inter actually i watch a good lot of the syria but he's got unwavering form and this guy has got 92 defensive awareness i actually have him uh his standard version of the card he is quite beastly man he's a nice tall defender good in the air he's actually able to play out from the back as well which is very very nice to have and he's got really nice player skills interception and blocker sliding tackle area superiority heading and man marking you've got everything that you possibly want there in a center back Tagliafico, we've got this guy from uh, Leon. Again, you're running the mill, kind of left back, right back, uh, or left back, left mid uh, kind of player. He's got pinpoint crossing, true crossing, true passing, I should say, unwavering form there. Yeah, I mean, if you get him, I definitely think he would be worth putting a ball or two into the box. Very, very strong stats across the board. Nothing really weak there. And defensively as well, if you are playing a 3-5-2 and you want to play him as a wing back, Cancelo on the right, this guy on the left, you could be well, well set up. The Gea, right? So we're going to take a look at the Gea again here in a second over on eFootball DB um, because the Gea is kind of a very intriguing choice. Obviously, I am a United fan, but he's a very intriguing choice because of, of um, his player skills there. He's got low punt, high punt. He does have standard form, but he's on A this week, so he's going to be up more often than not. But I think the biggest thing with the Gea, lads, is genuinely his... Um, his reflexes need to be a little bit higher than that, I think, because he is a reflex goalie, you know, in real life. That's kind of what he excels at in real life, uh, in my opinion. And the way we've trained him up, his standard version is actually better than this card, right? So we've put 92 into reflexes and then the rest of the stats are in the low 80s and then goalkeeper reaches in the high 86s there. Um, but this card, obviously the 87 goalkeeper reflexes is quite poor, which obviously you're going to have the trade-off with the, the team play style proficiency here. Obviously you're going to be able to slot him in and not have to you know spend any coins or any points uh, on you know training up his team play style, so which is always a plus. We have got a Mane. So this is probably the pick of them, lads. I know Neymar is the big, big name there and the player of the week. Neymar is probably the best one there but this guy's got standard form and he does have track back gamesmanship first time shot as well as all all the dribbling skills and that you could need 90 speed 93 acceleration 88 dribbling unbelievable stats for a left uh, winger or left midfielder again the only thing i don't like about Mane's card i think is the fact that i don't i don't really I don't think he has the kind of feet. Like, he doesn't ever have them kind of animations. I don't know what you guys think, but I find when I play with him that his animations don't kind of match the likes of Dembele or Anthony or Neymar, where I don't feel... Now, maybe this car will be a beast. He does certainly have amazing stats, but let me know. Let me know. I haven't played enough with Mane. I have played a bit with him, but yeah, I don't know could I recommend him over Dembele on the left or Neymar on the left or even Anthony. Like, I just couldn't um, recommend him, even over Diaz, man. Diaz has been a monster 
favourite for me in eFootball 22 and 3. And then last but not least, we have Neymar. But before we move on to Neymar, we are just going to take a look at Mane's uh, standard card, which you can get fairly high as well. 96 acceleration. He is 450,000 GP, so that'll be out of a lot of people's... Um, uh, you know, out of their, their price range. And last but not least, we have Neymar. Again, Neymar has got incredible stats, incredible player skills. It's Neymar, man. He's just unbelievable. I would say Neymar is top five players in the game. I've said it from the start of the game. I'd, I've said it kind of all the way through eFootball 22 and 23. He's just, his movement, his dribbling, he actually plays way above his stats, even when his speed there is 76. He plays more like an 84, 85 speedy guy because the different, you know, the differentiation between, um, you know, 75 to 82 speed is very, very slight. You're not going to really notice it. Now, obviously, if you've got a guy like 96 pace, it's going to make a difference when you have the ball and when you're chasing the ball. But again, they have it balanced in a way that you're not going to be seeing a massive difference. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if you haven't got Neymar's card, obviously, with Neymar's standard version, Version here on eFootball DB. We do have Neymar down here um, and we have his stats pretty identical. The only thing we haven't really kind of boosted up, maxed out, uh, is his finishing. We do have the curl. I mean, Neymar is probably the best. Him and Messi are probably the best finesse shooters in the game. So if you don't have Neymar and you pack him, get him into your squad. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another video. We've got a good lot of videos coming today as we continue on our Dream Team Chronicles. And we will have the live update uh, weekly roundup as well for you guys, as well as my player of the week. So let me know what you guys think. We also have Italy uh, coming on Monday. There's a special deluxe player selection for Italy coming Monday. So yeah, let me know what the crack is. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. I will talk to you later. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, make sure and do. I'll talk to you later, lads. Peace.